Hey guys, in lesson 6, we are going to use the repeat block, but not only one kind of a block will be inside it, there will be more than one kind. First, let's think about it. We have four diamonds with the same number on each block, and it kind of looks like a stairs, the stair steps, if you see. So if I have four diamonds, this means my first pattern is a repeat four. That's my first pattern. Now, I'm going to put it aside a little bit and I'm going to think about the first one only. So first, this guy has to move to this way, move forward one step. When he reaches the diamond, he has to collect it. So I need to use this block in order to collect it. And then it has to turn. He has to turn to this direction in order to look up. So which of these arrows will make him turn up to this direction? It's the left one. After then, he has to move one step forward. So I put one move forward. When he reaches over here, I think I'm done with this level, but when he reaches over here, he has to turn to the right side. So my code will be turn right later on. That's your first code. For the time being, we solved one, we got one out of one, and that's done. So I'm just going to click finish. That's my code in JavaScript. And in this one, I have to use the repeat block in order to move many steps forward. One, two, three, four. Repeat four times, move forward, and then I need to collect one. In this level, they gave me gray blocks. I cannot get rid of them, so I have to make use of them. First, at, I need to move one, two steps. So here, there is one missing, which is over here, so I attach it. After this step, he has to turn to this direction, which means turn left, and then he needs to move forward and then collect. That's the order that we need to follow.